Hello everyone, thank you so much for tuning into my presentation. Today I will be discussing Yoshimo Sonata uh, and a brief overview of him as a contemporary artist. Well, first and foremost, I will be giving some context, a short bio to understand who he is a little bit better, and then delve into his focus and interest as an artist, preferred media, physical assessment, and then lastly, my personal opinion. So, first, I would like to give some context. He was born in post-war Japan, and his art is categorized as super flat art. So some key notable influences in his art are punk rock, fairy tales, picture books, and Yukio E block prints. So this right here is an example of how punk rock is a, a huge example in part of his artwork. So nextly, I would like to you know, highlight his interest, and that is the complexity of growing up. So his subject matter is usually this multifaceted child that displays a wide range of emotions. And not only does he bring them with a level of cuteness, but he presents them with emotional complexity or depth and often have rebellious attitudes as well. So his preferred media, he was both painting and sculptures, but I thought that his paintings were a bit no more noteworthy. So one thing that he does that I really particularly enjoy is the crayon illusion. So he makes artwork that appear a little bit more childlike and resemble more of that uh, younger aesthetic. So lastly, his assessment, not lastly, but his my assessment of his artwork, I find it very interesting. And it's hard to use an even more specific term because each one of his characters are so unique, you know, the duality and the depth be behind all of his characters, they make them all very interesting, both intellectually engaging as well as you know, visually aesthetic. Um, this one right here says, I am nobody's fool. It's a little bit cut off, no nukes. So the social aspect of it, as well as the visual aesthetic combined to just overall make a very pleasing work of art. Um, and this one is also an example of how you feel you, uh, plays into his modern art. So lastly, my opinion, I just love his art. I find them to be very cute and nostalgic characters full of emotion that also remind me of my own childhood. Um, so thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed or learned something new.